friends and laughter. It's a Saturday night and 29-year-old Fatima is celebrating her divorce. I'm happy, happy to start a new life. The beautiful women in our country are the ones who divorce and marry again. I hope I'll find someone who will make me happier than the one I was with. Fatima was married for a year and a half before her husband left her. In Mauritania, divorce does not mean stigma, rather the opposite. Any woman here can hold a divorce party, but must wait three months after separation. According to Islamic law, this is to ensure she isn't pregnant. Divorcing in our country is normal. This party is for the woman to show that she is now free, so that if there is someone who is looking, he will know that she is now available. I've got divorced four times. I have two children and I live a happy life. No woman wants to divorce, but sometimes when there are too many problems in the marriage, it's the only solution. The practice of these divorce parties is common mainly among the Moor community, who make up over 80% of the population here. According to the Moor tradition, the wife can decide to get a divorce if her husband breaks certain rules like insulting her or taking another wife. There are a lot of poems about divorcees that, for instance, say, abandoned by one but loved by all. Divorcee, you are the most gracious of divorcees. For Mauritania's men, although divorced women are generally valued highly, not everyone agrees. Maybe celebrating a divorce is a way to get revenge on the husband. But me, I'm not amongst the men who prefer a divorced woman. Divorced women in Mauritania are more desired because they are less demanding and they have experience of marriage. They may be more desired, but financially, they could find themselves having to support children on their own. To do that, some come to this so-called divorce market in Nouakchott, to sell the furniture usually left to them by their former husbands. The divorced women sell their items to us when they go back to their parents' house because their parents already have everything. They are also selling to cover the expense of their children's education, health, clothes and so on. Some in Mauritania are worried about the country's high divorce rate and the potential impact on families. But for now, it seems this tradition is here to stay. Caroline Noyer, BBC News, Nouakchott, Mauritania.